part of me is feeling ashamed and feeling shame for being a father and having a son. And this is why. What's up and welcome to the video. This video is going to be vulnerable and it's a story on how I'm carrying shame and how I feel ashamed of being a father and why that came to be and how that came to be and everything about it that I think will really land for single dads, single parents and parents because sometimes we can feel this. Sometimes we feel less desirable and explain a little bit about what is going on there. Um, so no judgments right off the bat, no judgments because I think this is just me sharing and I'm a little bit scared to share and I'm a little bit like, woo, I don't know what's going to happen and I'm still feeling that shame and I personally know that in order to overcome shame, you got to shame, you got to own it and you got to speak about it. So this is me speaking about why I feeling ashamed and holding shame for being a father. So I'll begin by saying that there is this part of me that just wants woman's love. It just wants to be loved by a woman, a woman. And I think that that comes from my childhood and my relationship with my mom. I always wanted my mom's love and I felt like I never got it. It doesn't mean that she's a bad mom. She's a wonderful mom, did wonderful things and was a beautiful person. And I just felt like I never got that love, that deep love that I really, really wanted. And so I think it manifests in this today's day and age, my day and age right now. It's like I'll seek the love and want that attention and love from a woman so badly that I'll do whatever it takes. And so I'll do whatever it takes to get onto that love. And and there's also having a son and being a dad and being a single dad, it's fucking hard. Was experienced, my experience has been, it's, it's hard to date, which is all just a fucking story. It's hard to find a woman who's attracted. So I was in this fucking loop of like, like, oh, it's hard to be with someone. And because you have a son, you're less desirable as a man. You're less desirable as a single man because you have a son. And that means that the mother, whoever would, the, that person would have to step into a responsibility of being a mother to my two year old. And that's a fucking lot of work for a 26 year old to ask someone who's 26 to hop into that fucking role and responsibility. And it's been my experience that on dating apps that it's not like they don't necessarily want that. It's been my experience of like hearing just fucking random negative things from people about that. And it's been my experience. It's just what I've lived and what I've thought and what I've believed for so fucking long and it sucks. Um, and when I was meditating, I kind of like realized that holy shit, I've been buying into this. So for example, on Tinder, I downloaded Tinder, I started Tinder, I started the dating app and I didn't include, I wouldn't include that I had a son in my bio. Because a part of me believed that I was less desirable because I had a son and that women wouldn't like me. And so what, and this is what I want. I want that love. And so what would I do? I'd hide the fact that I'm a son. And it even got to the point where I would match with someone on Tinder and I would start talking. They, like, they were awesome. We're in it. We're like, fuck yeah, let's go on a date, all that kind of stuff. And, and then they follow me on Instagram. They follow me on Facebook. We'd be friends and whatever the case was over there. And... And I would stop posting pictures of my son. I'd hold back that part of me because I'd think, oh shit, what if she sees that I have a son and now they're like, oh shit, but she doesn't know. So that's going to be a shock. So I just can't do it. So I can just hide it in the back. And it got to the point where people like fucking friends that I've been friends with on Facebook for a long time, didn't even know that I had a son because I wouldn't share it on social media because there's a part of me that believed that I was less desirable. And if I was less desirable, then my chances of getting this love and a woman's attention goes way the fuck down. Those are the beliefs that I was believing. And this was all coming through on a meditation. I was just like, holy shit. I've been doing this for so fucking long for two years. I've been kind of like holding the shame and feeling ashamed for having a son. And it's like, what the fuck? That's not okay. And it's something that I'm not proud of. It's something that I'm not like, oh, fuck yeah. Awesome. Woo! I'm kind of feeling a little bit of frustration and anger towards it, but it is what it is. I'm not blaming myself. I'm not blaming the past. I'm not blaming women. I'm not blaming anything. It just is what it is. And I get to move forward of it. I'm not proud of it, which helps me move forward into something else. And which is the reason why I'm sharing this. And so it kind of like during the meditation, it kind of unraveled. And I like, I looked at that belief. It was like, because I have a son, I'm less desirable. And I was like, is that true? And, and there was like this obvious, no, it is not true. 
It's not fucking true at all. Like E, you're 26 years old. You're conscious as fuck. You try to be conscious as fuck. You're trying to be the best person that you possibly can and you give that to Lincoln. You give this space. You're patient with him. You care. You love him. You're kind. You're encouraging. You're loving you. You give him praise. You give him whatever that little boy needs. I try to give him. And fuck, I give him the world. Because I love him so much and I love myself so much to give him that space. And it's like, that is a fucking attractive as shit, yo. That is fucking attractive. I'd be fucking attracted to that in a woman. If I saw a woman that was just like fucking loving and nurturing and caring for her kids so fucking deeply and holding that space and still feminine as fucking in the feminine energy. Oh, I'm in it. I'm in, I'm attracted. So it's like that belief was just shattered. It's like, fuck no, that's not true. You are more desirable because you are a dad. You are way more desirable because you are a dad. And that started to click through. And it's like, wow, like during that entire process, and it's probably been about a year that I've been doing this. It's like, E, you were ashamed. You felt a little bit of shame for being a, like for having a son and for being a father. It's like that is a journey that not many people get to go on. That's a journey that you should be proud as fuck to be on. That's a journey that like that that, that inspires and gives you love and creates that for you. And if if there's a woman who doesn't like this, she's not for you. And that's fucking fine and beautiful and I love you and go do your own thing and do that and rock that. And that's awesome. It's like you will find that one. And I think that other dads, other parents, other single parents, other people can fucking relate. Like, like, sure, it can be challenging to find someone. Sure, it can be challenging to date someone with kids. But it is the most beautiful, most rewarding, most loving thing that I think is going to happen for me. And I think that can happen. And it's just like, there is no reason to be ashamed of that. There's no reason to be ashamed of being a father or having a son. Especially if you're a single dad or a single parent. There's no, like, own that shit. Step in, own, love, and be there, be present. And like, you will attract someone. And this is literally like my belief beginning to form. It's like, you'll attract someone who is just like, who is there. Who is in it, who wants to be present, who wants to have a family, wants to be in that life and fucking loves the shit. <laughs> loves the shit. <laughs> loves the shit out of like your little guy, your kids, your whatever it is, and you. And and so that was my experience with feeling a little bit of shame and being ashamed of kind of being a dad. And this is me pretty much coming out about it and, and talking about that shame that I was experiencing. And and thank you for bearing with me up into this point. And I want to make a point that it's important to talk about these things. It's important to share these shames. Because shame is only potent and powerful if I keep it within. But if I begin to own it, own the fact that I was withholding information about that I was a father and that I had a son, if I was withholding that, fuck yeah, I own that. Because when I own it, I can let it go. It's kind of like this. If this was just sitting on my knee, And this is the shame of me being ashamed of being a dad. Okay, I'm gonna try to get rid of it without owning it and picking it up. Like go, go, leave, 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 right? It just stays. And so until I own it, I pick it up and I hold it in my hand and I look at it, it's like, I was ashamed of being a father and being a dad because I thought it made me less desirable as a man, which I know is not true now. It's like I own this. I share with you what's happening and then I can let it go and I can move on into something more beautiful, more epic and something that feels better for me because that definitely wasn't feeling good. So if you're up and you're watching this point, thank you so much for watching and and spending your time with me. I hope I added value to you and I know that I did if you're still here watching this. So thank you. I ask that if you're new to the family, you're new to me, you're new to Lincoln, you're new to I, that you subscribe to the message just down below just by clicking that big old red button. It really supports everything and supports and encourages this message to go out. Also feel free to like and comment what came up for you. Do you agree? Do you not agree? Have you felt similar? Have you not felt? Are you like, you're fucking crazy? Or you're like, holy shit, I've done the same thing. Share that with me. I want to know what's coming up for you. I want to know what was going on for you during the time of this video and what happened. So always definitely feel free to drop a comment down below and share this message if you feel like there are people in your life that need to hear it. So 
with that, deep breath. The love in me sees the love in you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you on the next video.